Okay, Paul Inventor 3 here. This is the new Ion Craft. There's the old one. Uh, very nice skirt. Man, you gotta have a lot of patience to make one of these, I tell you. Uh, skirt's nice and smooth. Barely any wrinkles. Look at that. Look how smooth that aluminum foil is. Not easy. Oh, so fragile. Afraid to touch the thing. And, uh, yeah, I got like uh, nine inches here between the posts. And the skirt's about uh, two and a quarter inches. About two and a quarter inches. Uh, hard for me to get it up there right now. Two and a quarter inches tall. Uh, you can see the other last one design here was smaller. Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, I just got to add up, add the uh, power supply now to this. And we're going to be using a television. I got it in the trunk of my car right now. Uh, yeah, I went through two skirts in the making of this one. Uh, got some bad wrinkles. Even nice and smooth. You want to have a nice smooth roll over here. And I don't even know if you can see the wire there. Uh, let's see if, you could, if this helps at all. You can see the wire there. That wire is about three to four thousandths thick. Exactly the same size as a human hair. Uh, yeah, after a lot of help from a lot of friends out there and a lot more research, uh, I think this will work now. The Ion Craft Lifter Electro Hydrodynamic Device. Uh, a couple things I want to point out that I found out about uh, you don't want to use an enameled wire or coated wire for the top corona wire that's positive you want to use a bare wire uh, now my old lifter here this was enamel coated but I saw in a couple videos some guys take a razor blade and scrape the bottom side of the wire and that's what I did with this one so that might be one of the problems with that too now I'm reading about the corona wire here uh, what is even more good than uh, copper wire is stainless wire. And it's like this was meant to be. I just actually happen to have this old antique Fidelitone recording wire here. It's a stainless diachrome. <laughs> it's only about three or four thousandths thick. Uh, the thinner the wire, results in a stronger electrical field around the wire. This will cause better ionization and a larger corona current. So you do want a super thin wire. Uh, another point about some people try reversing the polarities on this. Uh, normally you want to have the positive to the top corona wire and the negative to the skirt. Uh, it will work with the polarity switched, but with the uh, Corona, let's see, I'm looking at my notes here. Um, if the Corona wire is positive, nitrogen ions are the main charge carri carriers. If Corona wire is negative, oxygen ions will be the main carriers and ozone production will be higher. And we don't want a lot of ozone production. Okay, ozone production is not good. Uh, it will lead to a shorter lifespan and could cause uh, heart and lung disease. So, and you might have slightly higher thrust with the positive on the corona wire. So yeah, you really don't want the skirt being positive. So, uh, just wanted to point those things out. Uh, we'll make another video here and uh, see if we can get some lift off air off this soon. But uh, there she is. And long, a lot of time to make that. <laughs> oh, scrapped two skirts. Drive me crazy.
and even just wrapping that wire around there, it's like human hair, that too was uh, quite nerve-wracking. It's not really tight around there, but it should be okay. It's hard to bend tight around the corners because this wire has like a spring to it. So anyhow, okay, talk to you again soon. Uh, hopefully next video we'll be uh, have liftoff. Till next time.